Well, I'm on the phone with Mark Shields, the head football coach of MDI High Schools. We are every Thursday and Monday. And, Coach, um, tell us uh, what happened yesterday in terms of the practice. I know you had no uh, no electricity at the high school. Did that? What did that do for Wednesday's practice? Yeah, we, uh, you know, we did have some time to prepare at least because we knew that this storm was coming, and uh, you know, so we were thinking we were going to do watch some film with the kids, um, do some chalk talk in a classroom and then maybe go into the cafeteria and do a walkthrough in there. But it worked out such that we lost power here, and the volleyball games were canceled that take place in the gym, and also the volleyball practices were canceled. So we took the, that opportunity to utilize the gym. So we actually had a decent practice yesterday. We got the kids in there around 2.45, um, you know, walk through some special teams, and then uh, we actually were able to run some defense. The kids were, you know, they were in their street clothes, but we told them ahead of time, you know, uh, on Tuesday to make sure that you have your sneakers and shorts because there's a good chance we're going to be inside. So the kids were prepared for that, which was good. And so we were actually able to run through some defense. We had our look team running John Baff's offense against us, and it was actually very productive. And then offensively, um, you know, we lined up, our offense against um, the defense we think John Bass is going to run, and we started, um, you know, kind of walking through our blocking with that again. Uh, and then we had those kids uh, go off the side because we didn't want to, you know, we didn't want to go full speed against the look guys without any pads. And, and we ran through, uh, you know, all our offense other than our pass plays, which we'll do tonight uh, up on the field. So I felt pretty good considering um, I wasn't sure – what kind of practice we'd have, and especially when the the power went out, I didn't know if we'd all be you know sent home and right. have nothing. So I was really concerned about that. I mean, it was Tuesday and Wednesday; those are work days for us. And you know, if you miss one of those, that's huge. And you know, I'm watching the news this morning, and I see John Bapps. You know, they went inside. Them and Brewer, yeah, yeah, they were inside, so they had a full you know practice. So they would have been way ahead of us if we weren't able to get in the gym yesterday. So it actually worked out really well. This is kind of the the crunch time of the season. You're you're now in week five, and I mean this is a game that you that you've got to win um, to stay in that upper echelon in the Class C North. Yeah, that's true. I mean, the, every opponent is going to be a tough opponent, and you know there's some really good coaches in this conference, and you know Coach O'Connell up at John Baps. I mean the guy's got a state trophy championship you know trophy in his uh trophy case so yeah i mean they know how to coach up there and their kids will be well coached and they'll be ready to play and there are no easy games um you know in our conference and that's how you have to approach it uh john baps you know they're one and three and they're probably up there saying we need to get a win you know if we want to keep our playoff hopes alive so uh you know i i know that they're going to come down here and you know, they won't be intimidated by us, and uh, they'll be well-prepared, and I'm expecting a really close football game. If you win the toss, are you going to receive or uh, defer? I think I'll actually uh, receive. Uh, it looks like the weather is going to be decent for, uh, you know, for Friday night. It would all depend on if the field is still really wet and squishy and, you know, in that case, I probably would defer to the second half and try to kick the ball off and, and see if we can, you know, could pin them deep or get a turnover. Um, but if the field is in good shape, and I haven't been out to see it yet today. It's uh, a long I, walk from the high school. So yeah, I, I get tired, and I'm so busy <laughs> here teaching all day, you know. Hopefully my principal is listening to this. Yes. Um, that, yeah, that we probably would take the ball and, uh, you know, see if we could get a drive going. Um. You've you've scored four times in a row uh, on your first series. I mean, that's just. Uh, I think that's probably never been never happened before. Yeah, I, I have to agree. I you know we'd have to go back at all the tape, but I I can't remember a year because here we are talking about it that we have scored on that first drive and like we said before, you know to come out early 
is really important against any team, and, and get that confidence offensively is huge because, once again, like we said, you know, if you start moving the ball early, you start getting that confidence, and also you start to open up your playbook a little bit more. You know, if you're that three and out, and you've only run three plays, you don't know what's going to work yet, right. if anything's going to work. I've had those nights, too, where nothing works. Mm-hmm. But, um, you know, if you can get a, a long, sustained drive going, um, you start to realize, you know, what what their scheme is defensively and uh, what might work for us offensively. So, yeah, I think that that's huge if we, if we can do that again. One of the big games in Class C this week is uh, Old Town Belfast. What do you think about that game? Yeah, I think that's going to be a great game. I mean, you have two teams that are super, you know, well-coached. Uh, Old Town, you know, they're flying on all cylinders right now. I've seen both those teams, of course, on tape. But uh, Old Town can hit you quickly. I mean, they have some real good athletes. And, you know, they're not afraid to throw the ball around. They're not afraid to do some funky stuff offensively. They they really get after it offensively and try to score points. You can tell they're not, at times, they're not trying to grind it out. They're trying to score touchdowns. That's what you're trying to do. And, you know, Belfast is a little more like us. They, you know, they want to ground control you, um, you know, and play good defense and try to beat you that way. So it's an interesting matchup. Um, I honestly am giving Belfast the nod on that one just because, I, I honestly think they're going to go 6-2. and two. They lost their first two games, and they're only going to keep getting better. Um, but, you know, of course, it's not going to surprise me if Old Town beats them. But uh, I just think that Belfast, the way they run their offense, the type of offense they run, much like us, they just keep getting better as the year progresses. And I saw them on tape last week, and they looked awesome. So I think it's going to be a real close game. And, and it will you know come down to if Belfast can stop them from – you know, getting those big plays uh, throughout the game because then when you run a ball control offense like they do, it's hard to catch up, you know. So I think Belfast, obviously, they got to come out and control the clock, control the chains, and get in the end zone and play good defense, and I, I think they're going to win the football game. What do you? Uh, what are the keys to MDI defeating uh, John Baptist on Friday night? Yeah, I mean, this is a spread-type offense that we're going to see from John Baptist. Uh, we haven't seen much of that yet this season. Uh, we're going to see it for the next few weeks, so we better get used to it. And, you know, I think our, our pass defense has to be good, but also I think we got to tackle well because when a team spreads you out like the way they do and get kid in, kids in space, if you don't tackle that kid in space, it's a huge play. So a lot of times it's a one-on-one tackle. I mean, a team that, you know, runs the ball, you might have four, five, six guys making the tackle, but when a team runs kids in space the way they do, those quick screen passes that they like to run. you got one kid out there, maybe two, that have to make the play. So I think tackling is huge for us. And then once again, you know, offensively, we got to do our thing. Uh, no turnovers, of course, if you want to win football games. And, you know, I think once again we want to, you know, get our run game going. But, I, you know, I also feel like we have some athletes um, that we can throw the ball, and uh, if need be, we'll do that. But, uh, you know, it's going to be a tough tough contest against these guys. Knock on wood. I mean, I think that this has really been uh, 1 through 11, one of the better tackling teams in, in MDI's recent history. Yep, I would agree with that. Um, we've worked real hard on that. That's like day one. We we get right out there and work on form tackling and wrapping up. And, yeah, this is a pretty fast defense that we have. They really do swarm to the ball and that really helps. You know, we work on getting 11 guys to the football every play on defense when we're practicing, and we go with two whistles. We go with the first whistle with the kid who wraps up the ball carrier, and then the other 10 or whatever, you know, nine guys that get to the ball after that, and then we blow a second whistle. So we work real hard on swarming to the ball, and uh, we're going to have to do that again tomorrow night if we want a chance to beat John Babs. What's the health of the team like? We're pretty good. I mean, we have some younger guys that are hurt. Uh, JV guys are hurt. It worked out such this week that uh, our JV game versus Herman got canceled. Right. Uh, but that, you know, good and bad. The kids wanted to play, but it helps rest some of those younger guys. Um, Ezra Johnson, uh, my strong safety on defense, he, he's still questionable right now. Uh, he's still, you know, trying to get better, and our trainer, Dan Vibert, will assess him again today, and that will kind of be a game-time decision. We're repping other kids in his spot, and and then uh, Dan McGregor, 
we found out a couple of days ago, uh, had a concussion. And Dan is a two-way starter for us, plays mm. defensive end and yeah. uh, offensive guard. Dan's a, one of our best players. So that that's a big hit. So we're going to have to have somebody else step up and, uh, you know, fill those spots. And, I mean, there's no time to feel sorry for yourself. you just got to keep moving forward like any other team. And, uh, and, and those guys just got to get better. All right. The key thing I need to know is, are you wearing shorts tomorrow night? It's going to be in the 40s. Yikes. You know, I was thinking about that this morning, whether I wanted to wear shorts again. And we <laughs> you, played pretty you're well. Unde- you're undefeated in shorts. Uh, no, I, I feel pretty good. With, you know, and, and obviously, you know, where I work out so much that, <laughs> you know, I think for the fans it's kind of important that I have shorts on. But, and my wife, you know, she she really likes it too, you know, well, yeah. looking at me down there. Um, so I don't know. But it does sound like it's going to be really cold. I was leaning towards maybe getting the iron out and getting those khakis ready for tomorrow night, those pants. So we'll see. But That's uh, a game-time decision is what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, <laughs> that will be the big mystery of the night, what Coach Shields is going to wear on the sideline. That's I, what people are really concerned about. I do come watch. I mean, you know, when Mark Arnold, when we were in Herman on Friday night, I, I peeked into the car and I saw he was in long pants and I commented on him in his long pants. You, I saw in shorts, and uh, me, yeah. I was like, you know, warm and toasty in the press box. But yeah, 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 I'm a lot tougher than he is. You know, he's a Michigan guy. So, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to wait on that one. All right. Um, what do you want to say to all the fans who are coming to see whether you're wearing shorts or or long pants tomorrow night? Yeah, hopefully, uh, you know, that's not the best part of the night uh, for us. <laughs> Um, hopefully we uh, we play well uh, on the field against John Baps. And once again, thank you for your continued support of MDI football. It's been great. Uh, we had a good crowd up to Herman and you know, had a real big crowd our last home game against Winslow. So we're hoping to get a lot of people up there, uh, you know, against John Baps this Friday night. And uh, hopefully we play well. So thank you once again for for that support. All right, Coach. Have a good day today, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow night. All right. Thanks, Chris. All right. Thanks, Chris.